Hey, it's Kirk and Kim, and we are here at Good Things Utah, and we're talking about a subject that, you know, most people are just not completely comfortable with, and that is... We're talking about money. Yeah. And it is it's is an issue in a lot of people's lives, and if you have, are having challenges with it, don't think you're weird. It's like the number one challenge for yeah, people with relationships. Yeah, we've had challenges with it. Everybody has challenges with money, but let's figure out what you yeah. got to do to be able to help improve the situation. So, so watch you can closely. Have a better experience with money. Yeah, there's a, there's really there's stuff going on inside your head about it. So watch closely, and we'll help you understand even better what you need to do next. It's girls, I'm with Kirk and Kim Duncan. They're from Three Key Elements, and right when I get back from a trip, we're going to talk about money. <laughs> After I spent timing, right? maybe that much, <laughs> just maybe. <laughs> Good timing, you two. Chunk. I don't think many of us have a great oh. relationship with what you're holding. Why is that, Kirk? Uh, well, well, most of us, what we do is we don't have cash in our wallets. And so we always are saying, I don't have any cash, I don't have any cash. And that was one of my mantras when we were struggling with money, is I just didn't have cash. So I was constantly telling myself, I have no cash. And so that distanced my relationship with money. I like that you just shared that you two have struggled. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I think we all struggle at Everybody some point. Everybody does. Yeah, we, yes. we have stories that get passed on to us by our parents yes. and other influential people about money. And so we develop these stories inside of our head about money, and then now we live out that story the rest of our life. But you can change the story. How yes. do we change you the narrative change in the our story. head? change the story. So how do you change the story? Is you rewrite a new story. Mm -hmm. We had to get a piece of paper and a pen and literally write the story we want to have about our interaction with money. It really Put it down begins. on paper. Yes. So is that the visual part of this? So you, you can write the story. The second part is you get a $1. If you want this, you got to start at the beginning. And the beginning is having a $1 bill. Like we were, Kirk was so repelled by money that having anything more than this, anything more than this just freaked him out in this pocket. He so couldn't even deal with it. So to carry a dollar bill and be able to repeat to yourself every day, I have money and money's coming my way. So you literally can see it and say it. And this and is the visual it. part. The other part that people I struggle with is emotions with money. And they get upset or they don't like it or they and are frustrated. And you struggle with that, Kirk? Why? Oh, big time. I, where I grew up, I, we grew up with no money, you know, barely any food at home. We couldn't do the things we wanted to. So I learned that money was frustrating and money was difficult. So that was my story. But because I rewrote my life story about money and I started carrying a one, a two, or a five. Started with the one. And started saying that money was coming my way, but reading my money story every day changes the story inside your head. And that positivity actually changes the relationship and yes. attracts more money to your life. The story yes. in your head you live every day. It's, and it's you've got to change the story. Money is like a friend and if you don't treat it right, it's not, not going to come around to play. Yeah, I feel like I've done that to my Gotta change kids. the story. We've been negative. We've said we don't have this or that's too much or how do we talk differently? Okay, I have a great one for kids. When your kids want something and you don't have the money for it, I like to say instead of we don't have any money, that would just not be the best business decision for us today. Business decision. Business decision. <laughs> and instead of like, I don't have any money, okay. it's like our family is a business and we have right. income and outgoing. But to talk about it that way, and they're like, oh, it's not a <laughs> good like, decision. I don't know what you said, but okay. <laughs> right, right. Right. Exactly. But the, not. I, if you could help your kids have a money story, and, and you have a money story, and you've got to read your story every single day because stories change your mind, your mind changes your behavior, and that changes your results. So rewrite your story. The other thing is we've had mentors in our life that have taught us these things, yes. and now we like to teach people yes. too. And you're doing that coming up in November. Tell everyone yes. about the event. Yes, it's called Master Your Influence, and it is held right here. Here in Salt Lake City, very inexpensive, so you can get the training. Yes. It's a three-day training class for forty-seven dollars. Go and Good things register. Utah special. Good things Utah special. Go there and come get the training, so you don't keep struggling through life. Yes. There's no reason to struggle. KeyElements.com/gtu. We'll put it all right there. We'll link you, and that again is coming up in November. Have more of that in your back pocket. And see it coming your way. <laughs> I'll take see, that. See it going <laughs> no, your too. way. That's oh, the, oh, it's oh, all oh, going your way. There you go. You hey, did you did like what we said? Sense? Yes. You can, money is just like your relationship just like one of your friends. And so create a friendship with your money because it, it's just like any other relationship. And if you don't treat it nice, it goes away. It doesn't want to be around you. There is a story inside of your head about money. And if you don't change the story, 
it won't change. And so no. really what we talked about, about writing a story about money and your experience with money, write your story and read it every single day and get that new story inside your head or you're not going to change. No. You're not going to change. Kirk and I had stories from the past and those stories from the past in our life made a difference on how we thought about money. We had to change our story. We had to change what we thought, what we said, and what we experienced with money. And it made a massive, massive difference in our life. You, the quality of your life is based upon the quality of story you say and tell inside your head every day. So do the work and stay with the work and watch the changes happen. Oh, and P.S. Did you guys love the parents out there? Did you love your new little story about how you're going to talk to your kids when you don't have the cash to pay for something? Like if they're in the line and they really want something, just to come up with something like, hey, you know what? That just wouldn't be the best decision for us right now. Or that wouldn't be the best financial um, option for us right now. Instead of, no, we don't have any money. Don't say that because then that just pushes money away. But come up with some new options of how you can say that without saying we don't have any money. And carry a dollar, <laughs> carry a dollar so you can say I have money. Yes. Just switch the language so you like, can start to have just more start money. Just with one dollar. <clears throat> if that's all you have, just one dollar. And then also get to master your influence. Yes. And get more training. When <laughs> Stop complaining and get, get some trained. training. <laughs> we have the Good Things Utah special, which is an amazing deal. Awesome. See you there.